Shop video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a quick ring shape in Photoshop. Now, first thing to do, just go to the Lips tool and Shape and set the fill. So, I'm just going to go with black. And once you've done that, you can hold the Alt down, Alt key down, and just resize it. Just drag that there. Select both of the shapes. You can see both shapes selected there, and then align. Of course, you don't have to actually have them exactly all the way around, nicely, nice ring. But anyway, that's what I'm just doing for this. And layer and combine shapes, subtract front shape. And then you have a nice ring design. Now, Photoshop doesn't have that, doesn't have gear shapes, etc. Would be a nice feature, but you can quickly, of course, create a ring shape. Fortunately, it's not live, so you can't sort of click there and drag it in, drag it out. Would be nice. Just quickly create it again. Now, what you can, of course, do make slightly more complex ones than that, just Alt again, and just resize, Alt, resize, and you can of course vary the size gap as much as you wish, you can have them there. And then select all of them, again all selected, then align, and again, you can just define it. If you want to define it as a custom shape, just quickly go over here to the direct selection tool, select all of those, and go to edit, and, oops, Edit and define custom shape. Once you've done that, click OK. Now, there's another way. You could just quickly go to here and select that. Again, just got that design. And you can hold the Alt down, resize, Alt, resize. And you can basically, hopefully, Sometimes you might accidentally click the other one, so you might end up resizing. But you can quickly obviously go back and correct that if you do. And you can redefine that, and so on and so on. Sometimes you can even select by accident two of them, and then you, right. So you've got that, and then you can select all of those shapes. You can see them all selected there. And just again, line them if you wish. And once you've done that, you can go to a layer, and combine shapes, and just go subtract shapes and overlap, and then you've got that design. Of course, sometimes you, you've got the wrong number of circles, you might get a center, but you can quickly correct that, of course, by just adding an additional one, removing that as well. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.